Let's talk about autism acceptance. It's videos like these that I often find really hard to make, and particularly because this video isn't actually based for parents, because truly in our experience, those parents are that are having a hard time coming to terms with the admission to themselves that their child is neurodivergent. That's a hard enough journey anyway, right? So I'm not here to make that journey any harder. And we all get there in the end. I remember feeling like that way myself. But I think the thing that actually hurt me the most and frightened me the most and damaged me the most was when in those early stages, when I myself had inwardly come to terms with the fact that my son potentially had autism. We didn't know at that time, but all the indicators were there. When I finally was brave enough to talk to somebody that I trusted, many people actually that I trusted, I'd be given the same responses. Oh, they'll be fine. They'll grow out of it. Oh, they're just a bit slow. Don't worry. Have you ever met an 18 year old who can't talk yet? Those comments, although they are really well-meaning, they come from a place of either that family member or friend trying to reassure you, try to stop frightening you, because inside the fear of having to recognise that you are going to have a child that is living differently for the rest of your, their life, particularly when at that point you probably know nothing about it, really. We knew nothing about autism before we had our children. We were terrified. All we'd ever heard about was the deficits, the fact that it was a lifelong condition that was going to mean they can't do anything in their life. Now, obviously now, my viewpoint is very different. It's extremely challenging. And we do openly, proudly say that our two boys have got a disability because I never want to dilute how hard life is for them. However, now I know that they've got so much to offer and we can push them towards their strengths. But at those early stages, I knew none of that. I just knew that my child wasn't developing normally. And when I was finally brave enough to ask someone or say, do you know, I think they might have autism. Oh no, they're fine, don't worry. So not only did I then start questioning my own ability to know my own child, I also recognised that as soon as I did get an official diagnosis, is that person still going to accept? Are they ever going to admit, oh gosh, I was wrong? Probably not, because that's a really hard thing to do. So immediately, as a parent carer, I felt very isolated. I still actually feel very isolated. So the reason I'm sharing this, I think, is to let you know you're not alone. We're always here. If ever you want to ask the question, oh my goodness me, my kids are doing this, I'm fairly sure they've got autism. I'm not in any way qualified to tell you that you're right. But I promise you I'll never judge you. I promise you that if you have a real friend, someone that you can open up to and share really hard stuff with, then find some printouts and be prepared. Because actually, like I say, those friends and family members are not going to be dismissing you, hopefully. They're not going to be dismissing you because they don't want to support you. They're probably dismissing you because they have no idea what to say. Trust your gut. Because nobody, no professional on the planet will ever know your child better than you do. So you could be faced with 100 people saying, ah, no, don't worry about it. You know your child. And as I say this, Archie and Herbs, if you're watching this, I mean no offence whatsoever. But this isn't a pathway that I think any of us would choose. It's difficult. It's really hard. Nobody goes into parenting thinking that this is going to be them. So when they do finally have the courage to come and talk to you about it, show an interest. Try to be empathetic and not just palm it off. Because that person who's talking to you is probably feeling really alone, horrendously frightened, and I can guarantee out the depth.